हेलो हेलो Hello Rare Viola. Hello Uncard. Where's Zena? She is at work. She's back to work today. Her the restaurant she works at finally opened again. Hello, Coom. Hello, Edward. You need a tank top warning in case you're looking yoked. Happens. Hello, Selden. Hello, Z1. Zayna is not here today. Hello, Galoft. Oh, yeah, I was working on this kind of shit posty thing. <laughs> Look at this fucking thing. <laughs> so, I added the sounds and the music. Mamma <laughs> mia. Yes, Acer2064. Right, and so you get to answer questions here as well. <laughs> and Mario just gets his own voice lines. Okay. Okay. Witness number one, please introduce yourself. I'm Chump, I like food, I eat the plumber. Plumber? I think I meant to say the lanky man. So it's like, the witnesses, they're a bunch of enemies, and they're all on Mario and Waluigi's side. So, they're all bribed. What the heck is this? Okay. This is um, the final boss fight of another hack I'm working on. This is the actual final boss fight. <laughs> right, then this is like the funniest part. Yeah. Isn't Valley too cowardly to sneak past the chain jump like that? Mario fucking. <laughs> Can't believe you would be so rude. Judge Kong, this man is unprofessional. Mr. Toad. This is unbelievable. This is not okay. Thanks, <laughs> I really messed this one up, Mario. <laughs> so stupid, but I love it. This is not okay. A place like a shit post, but that's the beauty of it. So, we have to make it so that if Mario reaches the end of this, right here, the T-Rex stops chasing him. Ha! 
How do we do that? We need him to slow down and um, I have an idea. What's the floor height here? So this is actually 10 coordinates like off. One one two zero. Okay. One 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 five. Right, so this means Mar is at the end. This should work. Yes it is. FFA, all right. Oh, I never played this game. Everyone's telling me it's great though. Wait, there's a better way to do this. I'll just add a new action state. We'll do this. It was kind of fun. You mean the, the court case one or the dinosaur one? It's a game? Wait, what are we talking about? Yeah, yesterday we found a small performance boost. Yesterday evening. So the N64 has cached and uncached RAM. And every time you use cached RAM that hasn't been cached before, the hardware has to like throw out another cache line. So by using uncached RAM for things that definitely will not be read again in the near future, we can save a little bit of performance. That mainly boosts the sound thread. So I've made it so that the this playlist that is CPU generated now sticks to uncached RAM. Right, you can do that by changing the address from A0 to A0. So that saves around 100 milliseconds on sound, which is pretty nice. Oh my god, I love this. <laughs> oh, 
I wonder if we can just go straight to the end without being eaten. Oh, you easily can. Okay, he fucks right off when you're down there. And now you should notice me after 11 seconds, 11.7 seconds. This moth didn't open. I'm gonna scare the shit out of kids. Come on, it's not that scary. I mean, the dinosaurs are scary, but the rest? Just imagine seeing the eel and the eel just doing jokes. That's not scary. <clears throat> oh yeah, I love the shake animation. What happens if it does get to you? We still have to program that, but it's gonna eat you. Yes, this is going to be my biggest mod. It is not my biggest mod yet, but it will be my biggest mod once it's done. Why would I have changed this? The T-Rex standing in the lava does look weird, but what are we gonna do? Yeah, I fixed this mouse just now. Yes, he will eat you. What's really missing on the T-Rex now? We have him run after you, we have him fuck off at the end. Let's give his body a hitbox and make the rocks break next. Program to not send a Okay, what is the alternative? Tell me. The alternatives are remove the lava or block the T-Rex from walking forward when there's lava in front of him, which makes this entire section pointless. I haven't animated that yet, Raviolo. It will be kind of like Baba, where it's just gonna and then Mario is gone. Make the non-lava parts higher so he doesn't step off the path. Make the non-lava parts higher, then he falls in and can't cut out anymore. Give him shoes. No! <laughs> it's not a Yoshi! Is it even possible to animate that? I mean, hopefully. <laughs> if it isn't, then we have a problem. Radius a thousand is a bit too much. Seven hundred? Maybe six hundred. And a thousand seventy high. It's half the radius, isn't it? It's not? Hello, I think mean gamer.
All right. So the T-Rex now has a hitbox. Now we need to make it so if the boulders come within, let's say, 700 coordinates laterally of the dino, they just explode. Can you just turn the lava into smoldering rocks so you burn yourself, but the T-Rex is fine. Smoldering rock. That is a nice idea, yeah. I kind of like it. We can give it a try. So you want these lava pits here instead of this? It's just gonna be like really, really red rock. I am willing to give that a try. That might look less weird. <sighs> How does smoldering rock look like? What does smoldering even mean? Is this smoldering? Is this smoldering? I don't like the colors of this. But this could work. This one you could work better. Smoldering lava. I found this. <laughs> That's smoldering. Can I download this? Lorraine, I would like your texture. I think I get it though. This texture is kind of ugly. Too small. Mario Kart. This better be good. I have hopes in this one. My hopes were betrayed. This looks awful. Hello, Bazaar Chris. It's coming along pretty nicely. We already made good progress this stream, actually. There is a chance we will finish the T-Rex today. It's not 100%, but it exists.
Let's try this one. I struggle. Hello, Embernetto. Man, everyone's selling me up small today. Do I look that much better today? What's going on? Oh, uh, I mean, looks alright. You already going struggle? You good business? goes things pretty well nothing to complain about actually one thing to complain about Zena's at work today and I didn't get her food I had to heat up leftovers and I didn't like it Not exactly how I envisioned this to be. <clears throat> Jesus Christ, how will you survive? Exactly. You know the worst part? She cooked my favorite food, but she put celery in it. And I hate celery. Fuck salary, dude. Alright, this could look nice in game. I hope it does. <clears throat> Salary's not the worst. It tastes like wood. Negative calories? Wait, what? Sari has negative calories? How come? <coughs> These pencils look like they're from a 16-bit console. What does 16-bit console even mean? It takes more calories to digest than it provides. Ah. Yeah, it kind of tasted like it does take more to digest than it provides. You like scotch whiskey? I don't like whiskey at all. I think the texture works. <laughs> Got this view every time I have it. It's like, okay. That is kind of crazy. Oh, I forgot to make this fire. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, I'm gonna be eaten. Yep, he would have eaten me there. So he keeps shouting at me because like he keeps seeing me but then after he sees me he realizes he can't eat me so that's why he keeps shouting at me so there needs to be an additional check here like so <clears throat> Did 
extent, the T-Rex might actually be my favorite creature so far. Pissed Rex. Yep. Alright, here's the boulder. Gonna be on syntax. <laughs> no, never. Hello, mine win. You need a Mari esque sounding name for the dino enemy. I was I never really think about the names for the creatures. How would you call him? Hey Zena, yes, I miss you. I didn't have enough food today. I already missed you at lunch. We're out for two hours and I was like, fuck. Why isn't she here? <laughs> I found another box of rice and I ate that one too. playing something at 2am then go to bed then you'll wake up tired man I really messed up these keystrokes didn't I you'd call him an oversized rooster kind of accurate Alright, let's just make sure this works and then we move on. Where did Rushane's name come from? I made it up out of thin air. Oh yeah, yesterday I was watching someone play Last Impact and I was half considering to maybe make um Last Impact Super Cut, which is the best 40 stars from Last Impact, to like try and make it a fun game. I think that could work out to be a good game. Alright, let's see the boulder break. Touch the boulder. Touch it. Oh yeah. He actually just breaks the boulders. Nice, I like this. Oh, oh, I didn't even think about this. He can now push you. I'm being bullied. Release we'll some form of greenery in the cave to make it look more like you're hiding because right now it's staring straight at you. We could have some greenery in front of there, yes, but I don't want it to obstruct like a lot of it. 
It's not really like you're hiding, it's more like, oh, hmm, yes, I can't get there. Of course, in a final game, you just eat two. What country would I live in if I had a choice? Iceland. I think. It needs to be called Mega Rex, but I don't like Mario World. I don't want to reference Mario World. I hate the game. I don't know what Arthur read this. Does Eric contain final stuff for this quiz? No. This is the third star for the quest out of seven. Well, the 100 coin star will be quick and easy. So like, after this we are gonna be halfway done with the stars in this level. <laughs> he should be called Steve. What if you call him Yoshor, but instead of an O at the end, it's a zero? Like... Yoshor... That sounds like a Cyber Yoshi. Alright, now how do we make him eat you? I didn't think about this part yet. Yeah, having it somewhat similar, or we could also call it Yoshi Saros Rex. <laughs> like, that is, that is a name available to us. Yeah, he will just eat you. An instant kill Mario boss is a final idea? Well, it's not a boss. Of course, we could also make it so that he only does 4 damage, because this game has a theme going on of being very forgiving. Come to think of it, I noticed that this part here is too difficult. I think I want to make it easier. Probably just by adding like an extra platform here. Should one shot. Probably should. I'm kind of split on it. Because if we make it only do damage, like maybe it plays better, it will be less frustrating. But if it one shots, it's gonna be more grand. So I kinda want it to be a one shot, but I also don't want to frustrate the player. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna make it a one shot, but this warp here. I'm gonna make this a warp with a save point. So that if you die, you come out right after the warp. Like so. Hello, Twitch Congoose. Twitch Congoose. Twitch Congoose. I want a safe place for Mario here as well, though. You are Twitch Kangoos. I'm sorry, man, but you chose that name. Knowing fully well how difficult that would be to pronounce. Kazotsky kick, who's that?
I think this could work a little bit better. I wanna see if the rocks go into it. Do I listen to Haino? No. The only German music I sometimes listen to is Rammstein. For workout music. Nope, I do not know what the Kazatsky kick is. I imagine that's some sort of TF2 meme. Cashews? Alright. They're pretty good for you. Do. Du hast. Good song. I think doing lava boost inertia should be set to zero. That's what makes this so difficult. Sing the phone for free? No, I will not sing on my stream. Is there really that much German music in Montreal? What would you hear in Montreal? Fuck, there was another thing I wanted to do, wasn't there? What's the other thing? Inertia. I love Bernard as a meme in TF2, but the Kazowski kick taunt is a pretty good taunt, to be honest. Alright. Oh. That doesn't help me in my life, does it? <laughs> see it now. I don't care about TF2. <sighs> okay, we now need to think about a good way to make him eat you. I want to go in there for inspiration. Where is Zena? In chat. At the Jägerball, Kirche, Weihfest, Oktoberfest, there's no shortage of Polka. Giant Lava Block boss. I don't think I want one. I mean, especially not for this area, where do you have to... Actually, there's one star that I might change, because looking over at my notes, I kinda hate this star. I kinda like it though. I kinda hate it. I'm gonna split. See, this also needs to stop, because when I come out of here, he just needs to eat you. Right now it only works if you do like the specific actions required. And Germany, are you from? I am from Ostfriesland. Zena's on the chat. I guess she left. I have no idea what Swabia is. Do 
The dinosaur can't have red lighting. He's a skelet. Mario could, but I don't know if that's appropriate here. Now you don't know Schwaben? No. I'm from North Germany. Almost in the Netherlands. <laughs> That's funny, Clay. Uh, Clay. I'm nowhere near Swabia. Making bad at fish. <laughs> She's at work. Don't don't go ask her to be active in chat. She has to get work done. She's being paid for her time right now. <laughs> you can work too and look at you. True. <laughs> Alright, this should work a bit better. Now we should be able to cancel his action states so that he can chase after Mario again if you come out of hideout too early. Hello Miguelito. There's an issue here. There is an issue here. <laughs> Flavor, I immediately change when the jerk spots you and chases you. 
Maybe. The problem with music is I can't make music myself. I have to wait for someone else to make it. And then I have to pay a converter to convert the music for me. So for every song in this game, I have to actually pay someone 15 bucks. So... I actually make like minus with the sack. Perfect. He instantly just gets back up and chases after you if you do that. <clears throat> and it would be funny if I made one. What would be funny about it? Would you laugh? Would you laugh at me? Am I a clown for making a multiplayer version of this? Can you tell me not to make one? Wait, Switzerland has a lot of snow? Are they at such a high altitude? I mean, programming dynamic audio is easy, but composing for it is the problem. You need really good communication with your composers. Have I made the bongos on my Sunshine 64 hack? I don't actually remember. I feel like I could have done that with Pablo. Oh well. Yeah, music dudes are very rare nowadays. There used to be so many. Switzerland is not Finland or Russia. That I... There's Sweden. That's high up, right? And Switzerland is below Germany. No? Which one was Swiss again? <laughs> oh boy. My geography. Switzerland so is just about Italy. Yeah, so it's not high up north. So it's just below Germany. I think you're talking about Sweden and Switzerland. Yeah, that would be really cool. Yeah, so it is pretty south actually. Near the equator, even. Yeah, exactly. Wait, I still didn't think get an idea for how to actually make a medium. The problem with making a medium is that the animation needs to look good because like if he snaps next to you and then you die anyway that would look bad so he's running Hmm. His head is roughly the same height here, so it's not that big an issue. The problem is that his body doesn't really lean forward 
And we can't really lean this body forward, can we? I mean... <laughs> Can't rotate this at all? Okay, it won't let me rotate these bones. But I can't even check how this looks like now. Is this Fast 64 just shitting on me? It is. Hmm. Cool. Yeah, exactly, Yoshi. I mean, we can have him have his head clean forward, but that will not, like, scoop up Mario. Let's just try around and see what happens. I don't care about Germany. Also, what's wrong with passing for drop shadows? I always thought that adding a shadow once a second layer and making it apparent the route was fine. Nope, that's shit. You still get the stupid geo start. And the order's not the way you want. And you gotta use those comments. I hate it. I don't want it. <clears throat> Plus it's like stupidly annoying to work with. Reference is a waste. That depends on how optimized your instruction cache already is. The more optimized it is, the more it will matter. Because the probability of your instruction cache flushing going from like 50% to 45% is a lot more valuable than it going from like 100% to 95%. <clears throat> how can I miss you, Beta? I see you almost every day. That doesn't work. You need to just disappear and then maybe I will miss you. I can lie to you if that makes you feel better, better. I miss you all the time. Whenever I turn off the stream, I start crying because Beta is no longer in my life. I thunder, does he ever come back? Will I ever see Beta again? Was it all just a dream? And then I open the stream the next day and it's all fine again. Tommy Lemek. I want him to look after Mario after this.
Is there a way to change it? When will you change the channel? But I can... I have no idea if I have the ability to do it. This is a very good game. Glad to like it. When are you starting the eating animation? That is next on the block. I just need to think about how to actually make it good. I could totally have it so that if he gets close enough, he like instantly just eats you. So that it's like a two or three frame thing and the player can't like tell anything wrong with it. Like he jumps at you and eats you. Kind of like that instead of you bending forward. I think that's the best way to do it. Perhaps you can look at that. I am not sure about that. I mean, Crash Bandicoot has it a bit easier because they only have to really work in two dimensions mostly. At a low cost. <clears throat> Just looking at Jurassic Park or something. Guys, the issue is not thinking about how to animate this. The issue is about how to make this technically work and not look awful. Like clearly, I could just make an animation of a T-Rex eating something. But there is a moving target and it has to look fine. So I'm gonna copy the part of the bubble that kills Mario. Check condition level. Ah, oh, fuck, I forgot water. All right, give me a second. So right here, calculate, jump, animate. All right, let me hide it real quick. Inside the switch case, you don't put the default case? Mm, no, not if there is none. I will hide right with protein. Get Pepsi? Never. <clears throat> so the only way to really have this look good here is probably to have the T-Rex just jump from here. So jump it.
There we go. He just falls onto you like this and you're dead. That's the best thing I can think of, really. Let's try it. Alright, Uncard, what do you have for us today? Alright. Man, I still need so much Benjo Kazooie music for my Benjo Kazooie hack. It's so hard to find someone who is willing to convert music. The guy that I'm paying, he's still behind like 20 songs on this hack here, so... Please leave me alone. Um... Ship it. <laughs> We're done. <laughs> it's good for the final release. How to get a job offer from um, Bethesda. Yes, they make the glitches. Kind of funny, but 
With the right animations, this could work out. <laughs> it kind of works. It doesn't look awful, which that already makes me happy. I got fucked. What the hell is Maggi? German beverage, lots of protein. We Germans love to drink it. And it's 500,000 points because we Germans actually hate to drink it. Actually, you're not supposed to drink it. It's actually poisonous if you drink it too much. <laughs> so. It's not seasoning, it's a beverage. <laughs> what are you talking about? Draw something, draw a Yoshi. I will draw you a Yoshi, Zena. Just for you. One minute drawing a Yoshi. It's gonna be a yellow one. Actually, it's gonna be a red one. So we got this, this. We give him a nice snoot. And um, a puffy cheek. And, um, mm hmm. Some eyes. Yoshi's have pretty big eyes here. Have him be a happy Yoshi. Chuck, chuck. A pupil. Fuck. That. And then he has a happy smile. And um, don't forget the spikes here. And a nice nose hole here. Actually, he gets two nose holes. There you go. One minute Yoshi drawing. Draw us as Yoshis. As in you and me. Oh, too late. Draw us as you. <laughs> that that is too much for one minute drawing. This is um this is yours, Yoshi, because you like black and red color combinations and he has a cute puffy cheek this is you as a Yoshi <clears throat> saved I don't know why this has a spawn variable again. All right for his nose. Perfect. 
Then one skeleton. Dry bones. Hello, legend. Welcome to King's program, the T Rex. He stops too fast. It's kind of goofy. That looks not bad, can only get better from here. I wonder how much I can really improve this from here. Because really, we are pretty limited. Because he can only move like in certain ways, right? And Mark can move everywhere. So we have to write a code that somehow accumulates for that. Is he gonna get back up? No, Mario just dies. And the T-Rex just stands there. Someone even purchased a drink marking option? No, luckily no. They wanted me not to remove it, so that's why I made it basically impossible to buy. the slide more. I wanted to really like put all this force into it. Just falls onto Mario. <laughs> There's nothing else we can do that looks even remotely good. <laughs> well, I upload a long play and speedrun once the swimming is done. I will upload my typical death playthrough and will also upload a long play with no commentary. Honestly, this is the best you're gonna get. Can it not get up again? Why would it get up? Like, logically, why would he get up? This guy really just stops moving. What do you mean by he just stops moving? So you want him to animate after this, is what you're saying. And yes, I want to extend the slide. Right, that's why I reduced this from 2.f to 1.f deceleration. And yes, I am in agreement to having him animate after this. Yeah, yeah, I can make him chew. How about I make him chew while he wags his tail? 
Like, oh, I just ate them, I just ate them. I'm so happy. <laughs> So he's ready for sex, and yes, this is a cursed comment. That is very cursed. camera after this to just be on his face also add blood so we know Mario's dead for real yeah and while I'm at it horrifying streams from Mario just have him crunch on bones just make it the worst thing ever Really make those children cry when they come here. Okay, it's getting better. I don't think I want Mario to do the oh, sound. That one kind of sucks. Interpolated. <clears throat> also, his watch pitch needs to increase here. Oh, 
like this. Son Mario dying? Yeah, I hate this one. I want something else. Wait, what? Which one do we take? Wow! I think I want that one. You want walk? Please, please make the right sound when you type. It usually makes the drowning one. Actually, no, it doesn't. It makes something similar though, and I don't like it. It's kind of decent. Camera needs to zoom out faster. Mari should die later. Yeah, I'm surprised this looks decent at all too. Eat me. I would like to offer my body as flesh to you. He needs to munch a bit faster. I don't like the openness calculation yet. That's what it will do now. And we should also program functions that play sound effects on animation frames. And maybe even a function that has like little earthquakes when he walks. So it's like really powerful the way he walks. Like, hmm. 0x b0, 0x00, 0x500, and this has to be minus this. And then after that, we add animation sounds. I guess they are missing right now. Vor, no! Nom 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 nom.
I haven't seen someone to make more realistic die when you have been eaten. It's my time. No. This is realistic enough, guys. We don't have to make them crunch bones. Ugh. So now we need proper animation sounds, which... Let's think about how to do this. Kill me, J. Play. What? What? That exists? No, <laughs> I deleted it. I bet it was trash. There is an unused play footstep sounds that I just wanted to program. I bet it's like really bad and that's why I deleted it. Kirby okay, we check NM frame. Yeah, this one's trash. This doesn't account for acceleration. However, I like the function header. So there need to be some kind of flag here, which there is not. Larry Link, thank you for the six months. Welcome back. Did you see the cool shit we were just working on? I'm sure you would love it. Wait, did my chat die? Everyone suddenly went silent. Wait, what? Oh, no mind, you're back. The sickest Kirby J play footstep fu sound function of all time in two seconds. Man. Ok, 
Okay, so 114 and... One one four and two one three. Will this even work? Not new kicking steps, like walk. Bowser walk, I like that. And I want a small shake. How does he get back up when he has tiny hands? We will never know. Because you're dead and you're going out of the level. Because you're dead. See ya, Clayman. You're getting bored of this out of all streams? That is a surprise. How many Mario 6 Pedromax have you made? Probably over 100. Okay, the camera shake is a bit too much here. I really like the sounds though, just don't like the camera shake. I wonder if there's a smaller one. Hmm. Oh, cool. Great, good job I optimized this function, so this function is completely fucking unreadable. Great. really hard <laughs> yes that's the official explanation
Alright, I think we have the T-Rex done now. Let's play the section legit once. Still gotta make this collision map here. Oh good, the inertia is fixed. Oh boy, I sure hope nothing will come to ruin my fucking day today. Oh, that shake is bad. I don't like this shake. I think I have to program in a new shake. It's scary when you're like right here. <laughs> Has an exclamation mark. I don't think that's very fitting. He already does a roar. It's pretty unmistakable. Nothing to see here. Can I go to the end? Fine, you can eat me. I kinda love it. The only thing I wanna change is the shaking. Does Mario disappear when he's being eaten? Yes. I think, dude, I always think the newest level I made is the best one. Make him suck Mario to Watson with his nostril. Oh, when he's in the cave? <sighs> kind of a cool idea, but then I would also have to program him just eating Mario from there. And it feels kind of like unreactable. Like you just die for something you can't control. Now Mario just disappears when this happens. He goes invisible. His animation goes into the A pose. That's it. this first steps smooth some of it still still less the risk
Okay, I like the footsteps now. The shaking. Oh fuck, I didn't make a safe step there. Alright. This is actually unused, isn't it? Yeah. I don't need this anymore. I always check the distance and make it not do that if it would kill. That's true. Hmm. I don't know if I want to proc on that though. I f it feels a bit weird. What happens if you go out when they're sniffing? The dino stands up and then tries to eat you. I programmed that earlier that uh, he can cancel the sniff action state to like try and eat you. With that, I declare the dino done. So one thing I wanted to add is like fire coming out of here, like smoke bolts. The question is, how do we animate that? Just clouds of puff getting up out of the, the stuff here. That wouldn't be too difficult. Let's get this toe off of my screen, please. <laughs> I don't know if I like the idea of smoke coming out of here and going up. Because smoke is supposed to be long, right? Not just puffy. How do I program a long smoke? Or rather, how do I visualize it? Which one took to make last impact? That one has so much custom coding and everything. And that was before decomp, so everything took way longer. Lava smoke shop? No, but what the fuck is a lava smoke shop? Did I find lava smoke, not a shop? These normal people just googling things, huh? Really ruining it for us. You know what I had the lava booth? <laughs> God damn it. Oh, so this is just splashes of lava coming out. Okay, that could also be a cool effect. If every now and then you just had a splash of lava come out with some clouds. But how do make lava splashes look? Do I have any particles for that? Can I recolor some particles? Yeah. 
Yeah, this can look really cool. Let's do it. I have an idea. Oh my god, can I get out of this stupid orthographic view, please? Who actually likes orthographic view? I sometimes work with artists and they always work in orthographic view and I'm like, why? How, how do you even work in this? Wait, I just realized, while we were working on this course, we did rework a lot of courses, didn't we? We reworked like two or three levels while we were working on this. No wonder this one's taking so long. Ugh. I think that's the z-axis, but I'm not sure. One, four, five, three, five. Wait, what? That doesn't make any sense. Actually, yes, it does. I was just being stupid. Okay. 
think I have to subtract them both. Okay, so we're just gonna generate a random position, and if it happens to be over lava, we spawn a lava splash there. So by that, we effectively have randomness in here. Well, if it launches a mountain storm and misses, it can't. It's programmed to always hit. That's the issue. That's what makes us so difficult. Because we can't have a miss. It has to always look good. He does stop chasing if you get to the ledge. He's programmed to stop chasing Mario if Mario's high up above like 1100 coordinates. And since the ledge is higher than the ending area, I hope. Let me just double check. Yeah, it's higher. So that means he stops chasing. He just looks after you. I got everything covered. So just it should just spawn a single flame now. means uh, the code is already somewhat working because I understand what happened. Hello Zergout. Welcome to big German men's dreams programming. We're just working on this guy here. Actually he's just finished. Oh no. Hey Mitchell. Right now we're programming the um, smoke here actually. It's just kind of difficult to program the smoke when I have like a big dinosaur chasing me. Yeah. 
I think I should just do this like a hundred times a frame. And then I should be able to reliably see the smoke. Ah, the challenges of programming. Having a big time is such easier. Yeah, dude, I hate when that happens. Once the smoke is done, this entire area is done, though, and then we can move on to the pterodactyl. <sighs> Too many objects, I think. Wait, it just spawns this object here, and that's its entire loop. Oh no wonder it crashes then, it just spawned 800 objects. Hello someone. You are indeed. I am sorry to announce that you missed the good part where I programmed the T-Rex. Yeah, now I'm just programming smoke. Not quite as spectacular, is it? Too much smoke still? Don't check SM64 Romix general chat. What even is SM64 Romix? Is it this one here? Oh no. Oh no, now I know why you want me. There's a guy asking me to make a hack for him. smoke go stop. stop I didn't see any smoke because <laughs> I got eaten by the t-rex again And he still wants to eat me over here. I believe the smoke is not working. Remember the guy who thought that the server boost was a fair price for a Romic? Oh yeah, I do remember that. That was a guy that came to my Discord and he was like, Ah, oh, but I boosted your server, you're gonna make my hack now. Otherwise I'm gonna take the boost back. I've got you in my hand now. You're pretty much my slave now that I boosted the server. You know what? I think I know what the issue is. I bet this is not even loaded. It is. Hmm.
Hmm. Hmm. I'm now not the server boost. <laughs> now I'm all lost. There's a chance that these are just never valid numbers. Let's just think about this. We got the lava sploosh here. How dare you post the laughing dark? Dude, this is anime music. Is someone still here? This is someone's theme song in my brain. It's like all songs that sound like this are just a theme song. just happened all right rip someone's theme song Gary I need cases of six potential points I need them what just happened was because I was cheating though I This sounds like a Five Nights at Freddy's remix. Oh, that area even runs 60 FPS. That one runs no issue at all. It is a FNAF song. Pain. Why do they all sound like this? <laughs> I was saying that as a joke. <laughs> oh yeah, this is Mario 64, how I like it. Will eat me. At least the smoke is confirmed to work. It just has to not be attached to Mario.
Mario's Plus Mini Black Man, gotta look into that. <laughs> that reminds me of the Vine Source Mario farting video. is working. There's just a bit too much of it. Second attack just ROP. And they're not even worse performance wise. They're actually better performance wise in this scenario here. Because they're always rendered in front. Don't let the Mario 64 people lie to you. They will pretend that two cycles are not faster. With no evidence at all. Some crushed rivals. They would look good, but I don't know if I want to go with that. Because the issue is, if I have more geometry here, the T-Rex is going to attack weird with it, and I don't like that. I don't want it to be weird, janky. I think this is a healthy amount of smoke. This is a true horror game. Set the hiding pieces to guide the player. Hmm. I'm not sure about that either. I don't think I want that to be anything more in these. I want to just keep it simple. Oh god, I am scared for my life. Alright, I'm safe. This area is so cool. Yeah, I'm putting one coin in. That was my plan too. So I have this issue that somehow this doesn't count as a hiding place. Oh wait, because it's high up. Ah, I did it the wrong way around. I thought this was lower. It's higher. Fuck. Hmm. Okay, I have to make some special case there. I know what to do though. It's just gonna be annoying. When you're listening to FNAF songs, they just kinda went on an autoplay. I swear I'm not responsible for this. I'm innocent. Dude, every time there's a game that a lot of children like, there are gonna be so many songs for them. It's crazy. Wait. I, I'm sorry I have to do this to guess, but I am just too curious to see if this exists. 
It does. <laughs> I'm so sorry, chat. 65 million views. What exists? This. This is an optical illusion. Fucking go nine year olds. How come Baldi's Basics was not nearly as hated as like FNAF and all these other 12 year old stuff? This looks wrong now. I think it was right before and now it's wrong. I can't the in-game scissors just to get a copy of FNAF, but I will stand by FNAF because I actually had something unique. Freddy Fazbear is too hard to pass up. I don't know. Everyone told me to just play FNAF when it came out, but like... It looked so goddamn boring. And then half a year or so. Later, I tried to play it and I was just so bored. It's like, what, what is this? What am I doing? It's just the culture around it that kind of bothers me. Because there's so many songs and vocal fans and like fan fiction, all that stuff. There's like 15 games that all seem like the same thing.
How did that just not work at all? NFT owners have actually become subhuman. What is this? Simian species. <laughs> what? This is a little bit. Um... It looks like a 15 year old fortune troll made that account. <laughs> Floydies. Okay, well, for one, not every NFT owner is making racist Attica jokes. And for two, that's literally just someone rage baiting you. They literally made an account as offensive as possible to get attention from people like you. That would get upset over it. I mean, that's, that's the whole thing. Perfect. Make a run for it, boys. That was a bad decision, boys. <laughs> One more issue. One more thing I noticed about the T Rex. Just in case. How do you fight the T-Rex? You run for your life and hope for the best. All right, T-Rex is done, T-Rex area is done. Next time we have to start on the Pterodactyl area. I think I wanna rework or like rethink some of the stars because I'm not sure about all of them. But there's only one more area missing in this level and then just some programming and we're done. That means I'll see you guys next stream. Bye bye.